हॅलो फ्रेंड्स आय एम संपदा कुलकर्णी वेलकम्स यू इन माय चॅनल टेक टॉक्स इन दिस व्हिडिओ सिरीज आय एम एक्सप्लेनिंग यू द कन्सेप्ट ऑफ डब्ल्यू लिंक लिस्ट अँड दिस इन दिस व्हिडिओ सेशन आय एम एक्सप्लेनिंग यू द इन्सर्शन ऑपरेशन ऑन डब्ल्यू लिंक लिस्ट बिफोर मुव्हिंग टू द कंटेंट आय वुड लाईक टू रिक्वेस्ट यू टू सबस्क्राईब माय चॅनल टेक टॉक्स अँड किप द बेल रिंगिंग टील नाव वॉट वी हॅव सीन how to create a w link list that we have seen how to traverse a w link list that in both the direction that is forward as well as reverse direction that also we have seen now in this video session i am explaining you the insertion operation on w link list so we can insert the element we can insert a node at three different positions that can be at the beginning of the list that means a first node of a link list that we can insert or any in between node also at any in between position also we can insert a node and at the end also that is at the end of the list also we can insert a node so all the three positions how to insert a node that i am going to explain you in this video session so now let's start with the insertion of node in w link list so first of all let's start with at the beginning means if i want to insert a node at the beginning what the steps i supposed to follow so let's consider this is a w link list we are uh, we are having with us with three nodes and if i want to insert a node at the beginning then we have to start with the head node currently this is my head node and whenever i want to add a new node i supposed to create that node at and th- this will get allocated some memory initially whenever we are going to create a new node we supposed to initialize both the next field and the previous field to null and i have ac- accepted its information part as 100 now as i want to insert this node at the beginning what i have to do i have to update this next field to the head node that is the address which is present in the head node so let's update this next field and what it will do it will form a logical link between these two nodes so yes we have done with the forward link but this is the w link list we supposed to think about a backward link as well so where we have to update a backward link yes you are correct we supposed to update a backward link for the head node because before this node we have created this node or as i want to insert a node at the beginning now this node is going to be inserted before the head node so let's see over here look at here and i am updating the address location which address location is this the address of the newly created node which we supposed to insert at the beginning so that's why this address location is pasted or assigned at the previous field of the current head node and it is forming a link between a head node and a newly created node so in this way we have updated both a forward as well as a reverse or a back previous link now let's remove this as a head node and make a new node as a head node and here you can see that this is the uh, node which is attached as a first node of a w link list so these steps you supposed to follow to insert a node at the beginning now let's move forward for the next if i want to insert any node at in between then what the steps i supposed to follow first of all you supposed to find out a proper position at which you can insert a node that can be inserted in between so you can insert after 100 also means after this node you can insert after 10 you can insert after 20 you can't insert after 30 because if you want to insert a node after 30 that will belong to the category that is insertion of node at the end of the list but if you want to insert the node in between for that the valid locations are the node can be inserted after 10 after sorry after 100 after 10 after 20 now let's consider i want to insert a node after 20 then what the steps i supposed to follow so first of all we supposed to traverse the w link list till the desired node that is node 20 because after 20 i want to insert i uh, i am decided to insert a node after 
so let's start with the head node and let traverse it to the node after which you want to insert a node a new node so i am going to stop at this position after this what i have to do i have to create a new node so let's create a new node at some different location we'll get assign to that node here you can again observe the thing that its previous and its next field are assigned to null for every new node you supposed to assign it to null now let's think about the uh, making a link to form a link to insert this node at the desired location so for that what the steps i have to follow now for the same what you have to do you have to do one thing like you have to update the next field of the node a newly created node from where you will get that information you will get that information from this current node now let's consider this as a current node its next field is holding the address of its next node but if you want to insert this node somehow in between so the next field of this newly created node is you have to paste it from this current node so 65730 this address you just uh, keep your mind over here and that i am pasting over here and it forms a logical link between these two nodes now after that what the next step i have to follow the next step is to form a reverse link right so previously you can see over here previously the address of the previous field of this node is 65630 is nothing but this one but after inserting this node this node is going to take a position of previous node to this node so let's update this field and after updating it will assign this address location and if now we are updating this field so what was this link was previously attached that will get detached now and if if we are going to do that how could we come to know how to go into the reverse position we are having a question in our mind how to go into the reverse position so instead of following these steps the correct steps are keep the previous view as it is that is the 65730 node is holding the address of this node and now we will work on a newly created node first of all let's update the previous field of the newly created node with the 65630 let's update it let's form a link and as we have attached this node in the previous direction as well as in forward direction then we can make the changes or we are we can remove these links by updating this field and after that here you can see that here updating this field means we have detached this link and we have attached this link in the same way we are again forming a forward link between this node and the this node by updating the address location at this position and this link is detached and new link will get attached so in this way we have done the insertion of node in between successfully now let's move forward for the insertion of node at the end if i want to insert a node at the end this algorithm is very easy very simple let's consider this scenario that we are having these five nodes with us and we supposed to add the node at the end of the list so let's start with the head and traverse till the end of the list in this way we can traverse it up to the end of the list after that we have to create a new node and attach it to the previous node so let's create a new node i have created a new node at the address location 65930 what we have to do now currently we are at this position we supposed to update only the next field of this current node so and after that and in the simultaneously we supposed to update the previous field of this newly created node as well to make a forward link as well as a backward link so let's first of all establish the backward link and now establish the forward link here you can follow either of the step like if firstly if we are going to update a forward link and then a backward link there will not be any issue you can opt any of the step first and then you can go forward so in this way we have inserted the node at the end of the list very easily 
so in this way we have inserted both uh, the nodes at all the three positions so thank you friends for listening and watching this video if you like the video and the content please do not forget to give the comment as well as do not forget to share it with your friends here i am providing you a subscription link for my channel tech talks along with this i am providing you a shortcut link for the next video of this video series and the whole video series i am providing you in the form of playlist so thank you friends happy data structuring happy learning thank you